Amref has worked in South Sudan for close to 14 years now. The first time Amref entered South Sudan was in 1972 when it was still a united Sudan. In terms of our program reach in South Sudan, Amref operates in all the 10 states of South Sudan through its training program that attracts health workers from all the 10 states. Also through the clinical outreach program that takes specialist clinical, surgical, and diagnostic services to 14 hospitals in South Sudan, we reach all the 10 states. However, in terms of primary health care, at the moment we are in three states of the Greater Equatorial, the Western Equatorial, Central Equatorial, and the Eastern Equatorial. Yeah, it's an African public health organization that uh, cherishes partnerships and the ownership of the programs that we implement in the countries in which we operate, and specifically in South Sudan. We recognize government as our primary partner in the planning, in the implementation, and in the delivery of services. So we work through the Central Ministry of Health, the State Ministry of Health, the county health departments, and the lower level government structures. Apart from working with government, we also recognize that there are other actors in the provision of health services outside the government that include the UN system, we work with partners like the World Health Organization, UNICEF. Uh, there are bilateral and multilateral agencies that also support our interventions in South Sudan, like USAID, which supports quite a number of our primary health care interventions the European Union that supports our maternal and child health interventions, as well as DFID, amongst other partners, and CEDA, the Canadian International Development, and as well as other community-based organizations, national NGOs, faith-based organizations, and so forth. Because community system strengthening is one of the building blocks of the healthcare system, AMREF recognizes the importance of the communities in being part and parcel in the identification of community health programs, in planning together, and in implementing together. So on that basis, we work through community structures, community political leaders, community technical leaders, and administrative leaders, and community resource persons like the community health workers and health volunteers that support us in community-based interventions. Yeah, so Sudan being the newest country in Africa and coming out of over 20 years of war is faced with a lot of challenges. First and foremost is the, is the challenge of having a double burden of disease, communicable and non-communicable diseases that are affecting the communities to the capacity of the national healthcare system to provide health promotion, disease prevention, and curative services is lacking. Thirdly, there are resources that are required to provide health services in terms of infrastructure, equipment, quality, human resources, essential medicines and health supplies that are not available most of the time. And uh, internally as the armory, for us to be able to respond to the demands of the country, we need to also have our capacity enhanced and we have challenges in terms of uh, space, in terms of uh, human resources, in terms of system strengthening for us to be able to lead, govern, coordinate the planning, implementation and reporting on the country program. Thank you. As we move forward in the medium to the long term, the plan of AMREF South Sudan is first and foremost to consolidate what we're already doing, the training of health workers in the provision of primary health care services in the greater equatorial. Number two is to grow the country program from where we are in a phased way to other states, especially in the greater Bagazel, the greater Apanai, the Lakes State. And uh, number three is for us to be able to consolidate what we're doing and to be able to grow the country program, we need to enhance our capacity internally as an organization to be able to lead 
the country program, to be able to plan well, to be able to mobilize the resources, both financial and non-financial resources, to grow the country program, to be able to supervise, monitor, report on the program, and also build sustainable partnerships with government, with the communities, with other partners. Thank you. What I would like to add is that uh, South Sudan being the newest country in Africa and that has a lot of challenges requires a concerted effort by all men and women, communities, governments, non-governmental organizations, bilateral agencies, bilateral agencies to contribute to building this new nation. Whatsoever contribution an individual provides or an institution provides to make a difference in causing the change that we'd like to see in the women and children of South Sudan.